Hello and good morning from a very, very windy England. Last night we had um, strong gale force winds. We've, we've still got the back end of it now. Um, I was a bit undecided last night whether or not to pitch my tent up and see what it was like and I'll tell you what it did brilliantly um, it went well beyond expectations um, this is a tent that, that I built uh, that, I, that I got like two years ago and I've never really had a chance to, to do it to get out and to use it but as you can see, it's been well used now. She's earned the stripes. Uh, we had 50 to 60 mile an hour winds. Gust winds. And uh, she, she, held up the, she held up right well. Name at brand. It's got two supporting poles that run from that side to that side and that side across. And this main stable one, which believe you me, got a good workout last night. Standard pegs, nothing really good. Um, what I did was due to the fact that. I didn't know how she'd perform in um, bad weather. I stayed, uh, stayed at home and camped in the garden. But I know for a fact that um, in this garden's open, so the wind does come through. I like we're surrounded by trees as well. So I mean, she got hit a couple of times last night. So she did uh, rather well for the budget tent. And that's that's trees that were there. Like I said, I just had basic things last night. Flask. Did you see that? Let's have my coffee in that. Let me roll mat. Let me four season four season sleeping bag because I'm a wuss. I do like me like little luxuries. I've paid enough for it, so I want to use it. Tonight, what I'm going to do? I'm going to use me uh, Miltec. Uh, Recon 1 tent I love that tent But one of the poles is broken on it The uh, main support one But it's still usable um, To say this This tent was not that expensive I'd have no problem now at Trusting it and taking it out into the wild Um, like I say, we had winds last night of 50 to 65 mile an hour. That was gusting. And she held up pretty well. Held up very well. She got hit a couple of times by a couple of branches. And, um, she, well, there's no rips. No rips that I can see anywhere. No, no rips at all. So I hope this is uh, some help to anybody who's thinking about one, buying one of these cheap tents. Uh, 
so, without further ado, well, great camp, even though it is in my garden. So there we go, You uh, before you, you lot start, we're going, oh, you can't go out. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. At least it gets my stuff tested to where it's safe and secure as well. Because there's no point going out with a new tent or new gear knowing that it doesn't work and you're stuck somewhere and you can't physically get home either due to bad weather condition or maybe an injury. So there's no point putting yourself in danger and putting other people in danger as well if they have to come and get you. So, what I'm going to do now is break camp, pack up, and um, stick it in the shed. <laughs> there you go. So, I hope you're all well. Well, that's my garden. That's my bluebells. I do look at bluebells. Especially this one. Pretty cool. So this, this is a review of Easy Camp, two man tent, stood the time, Just took a beating, and it's all good. So from me, to you and yours, take care, hope you're all well, and always get the best out of life.